On this episode, we're talking to my client, Stephen Trankler, about how him and his family are adjusting to their new lives in St. Louis, Missouri. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. Today, I have a client of mine who purchased back in July in 2016, I believe it is. it was. And today, we're just touching base with them and seeing how he is adjusting how he and his family are adjusting to the new lives in St. Louis. So, Stephen, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, I think this is cool because it gives people uh, a good perspective as far as how St. Louis is, is how St. Louis is in comparison to maybe other cities in the country. You moved from Houston mm -hmm. back in July of last year. Um, well, I guess before we dive too far into that, we'll just have you tell a little bit about yourself and your family to start. Sure. So uh, I am a father of six children. I know people look at me and say, how do you have six children? But we do have six children and that's, a, that's obviously the driving factor in our life. Yeah. I'm a IT professional, have been for 15 years. Uh, my wife and I have been married for 10 years. So six kids, 10 years, you can do the math on that. <laughs> and uh, I'm big into outdoors, gardening, uh, permaculture, if you guys know what permaculture is, all that type of stuff are my hobbies. And so St. Louis is a great place to be for, for outdoors for sure. And a great place to raise a family in my opinion. Yeah, six kids, how do you go about managing life with six? <laughs> I have two and uh, I'm actually on my way to pick up. I got the call from daycare as expected and I gotta go pick up my daughter after this. Um, six kids, how do you do that? <laughs> yeah, so I tell people it's all about what you get used to, uh, and it definitely is, but there is a lot of planning, um, I would say, is first and foremost. You can't uh, be all that spontaneous. I mean, in hell, it takes half an hour just for us to get into the car. Right. So okay. there's a lot of that that goes on, not, not, not a lot going off the cuff. And then, um, of course, having that many children, budget's a big thing as well. So we try to make sure that we have buckets of money to allocate for certain things so we stay uh, within the bounds of, of what we want for, for spending. Um, but my wife takes on the brunt of all this. I mean, she right. plans out our meals to a T. You know, she has it all put together. She's an excellent cook, fortunately for all of us that are a part of the family. So she does a lot of things about just, I guess, buying things in bulk. She can throw ingredients together, make them taste good. The kids don't always agree, but I always do and I appreciate it. Thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it is, it's all in what you get used to and it's um, trying to make sure that you understand and embrace the fact that it's a temporary thing. They grow up and they move out of the house. So try to enjoy every moment you can. And you do, and you, uh, one thing that's unique and it's starting to grow in popularity. I see it quite a bit uh, more and more now anyway, the, you do, you homeschool. Yeah. So you yeah. feel free to talk about that at all if you... Yeah, you know. yeah. So we homeschooled in Houston as well. Um, Houston, we're part of a great group there called MASH. Here, we joined a couple of different groups. So when we first started to actually think about moving to St. Louis, that was the question that was the top of mind. We wanted to keep that lifestyle. Uh, we really are all about homeschooling because we want our kids to be kind of not in a box and no offense to anybody out there and teachers right. are great, Everyone. but we just wanted to do things a little differently. Um, so we researched on Facebook, there's lots of Facebook groups out there um, and all that to be able to reach out to folks who have things figured out here. And what, once we got into those groups, we found that there is a ton of free resources out there. Okay. Um, there are free classes that are taught, there are all these co-op groups that are out there, and uh, there's, a, there's a really big homeschooling community. Um, so it was really exciting to see that and it made us feel more comfortable about moving into the area. Now, what types of things are, as far as moving from Houston, what are the biggest differences you've seen between living in Houston and living in St. Louis? I'm just curious. So the very first thing Melissa and I noticed is that uh, even though people will complain about the congestion, the traffic and all that stuff, is there is nowhere near the amount of traffic, nowhere near the amount of people on top of each other that you get in Houston. Houston, there's five million people. And we got to the point where we couldn't really do a whole lot of things with six children because you're constantly doing a head count, which we do that anyway. But to go and do a lot of the big events in the Houston area, I mean, they're extremely crowded. Not that things don't get crowded here, 
but I at least can go and do the part or I can do certain events and not feel like I can't keep an eye on my kids. Like I can take them down to the farmer's market and I know where they're at and I can keep an eye on them. Um, I could not do that stuff in, in Houston. Another thing that is, I think people take for granted or neglect is that um, <clears throat> the seasons, you get two right. seasons in Houston. Yeah. You get spring and you get hot, hot, <laughs> hot, hot all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's already been 95 degrees there this year. Right. Because um, I had friends posting on Facebook, like, well, where, where'd winter go? And so and we're taping this in February, <laughs> in case for whoever's watching. And, and I know that, you know, this is an unseasonably warm winter, but yeah. still just kind of that whole, you know, it, you have this exciting period of summertime, then kind of get to collapse down in wintertime, that whole biorhythm thing. I miss that because, you know, I, I grew up in, not in St. Louis, but it's in Southeast Missouri. Right. And uh, I lived in Houston for 12 years. And there was never that kind of natural cycle. Just kind of, I missed it. I've always liked all four <laughs> seasons, and I know I'm crazy, and I know people are going to disagree, but <laughs> I like winter because it's three months. And actually, these days, it's not even that probably. Like we don't have, we don't have winter anymore in St. Louis. We used to get like we used to get a ton of snow, but I can go on about that. But anyway, so uh, as far as you guys stay. Pretty active. Like, what types of what are your favorite things that you found in St. Louis? As far as things you can bring the kids to and that sort of. Oh, without a doubt, City Museum. City Museum is awesome. Oh yeah, isn't absolutely. It? City right. Museum and uh, the Magic House is fantastic. Okay. All the free stuff, like the History Museum, yeah. the zoo. I mean, just those things are fantastic. Right. That that, that all costs you money in Houston. Right. So we were surprised, and that, that helped us with you know kind of like okay, wow, we can do more stuff. Yeah. Um, but the, just the number and the quality of the parks is amazing. I mean, Queen yeah. Sculpture Park. I mean, everywhere you go. I mean, you took me to, to Tower Grove, right? Just to the awesome farmers market. Awesome farmers market. Fantastic place. Yeah. I mean, there's so much green space. Yeah. In St. Louis, it is a, uh, it is it's a, it's it's really really. I mean, one of the best assets the city has to offer. What are your? Have you found any favorite restaurants? Yeah, uh, we have found a couple. Uh, but we're still missing some, so I believe we'll say that to the end. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so we like Joey B's. Uh, I think Joey after B's when good. we closed the, on the house, we went to Joey B's. I think is one of the restaurants. We yeah, we had a lot of fun there. Few locations. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, we do like Joey B's. Uh, we also uh, went down to Del Mar this weekend. My wife and I actually get to go out on dates now since my parents live closer, and nice. went to Soul Taco. That was yeah, that's a good one. Missed some kimchi. That was that right. was that was good to have some kimchi back in my life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but as far as the other, um, there's a small business near us, uh, Russell's. It's in Fenton. Okay. Um, great, great sandwich coffee shop. Great place for, for some pastries. Love that spot. And then also there's a Maggie's Lunchbox, which is just right around here. As okay. Well. Yeah. Two small businesses that have fantastic food. I'm sure that I'll find more as I go. But those so far, those are our that's, three favorites. That's great. And <laughs> one of the last questions uh, to help you get acquainted to St. Louis: Are there any types of businesses or restaurants or anything that you're still looking for recommendations on that you just haven't found that one good type of cuisine or business or? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Whatever. Absolutely. So, so we had a place in the woodlands near Houston where mm -hmm. we lived. Uh, called the crust is a pizza joint okay. and had this fantastic outdoor spot um, I mean you could let the kids run around you could sit there and have a glass or a bottle of wine right. <laughs> Let the kids play we haven't found that type of combination of outdoor and and restaurant type of place yet And the other okay. better places yeah. are splash pads I mean I need right. those types of family friendly spots that right. uh, my wife and I can enjoy a, a, an adult beverage. The kids can have their time so that you actually don't feel like you're having to rush out the door. Right. Haven't really found that spot yet. So okay. I'm still looking. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll think about that and I'll let you know if I have any suggestions. Um, if you guys know of any place that has outdoor, you know, an outdoor area for kids where the adults can sit down and enjoy a drink while the kids play and I'm assuming you like a restaurant type yeah place like full service oh yeah place. not a McDonald's so, <laughs> right, right, right so and um, it doesn't have to I mean my kids are very creative just just to get that kind of something for them and something for us is really okay. what I look for in a restaurant because you know we don't go out to eat that often having six kids and like I said earlier right. budget I really want it to be a good experience when we get to go out and be yeah. able to have everyone have a good time okay so well 
I would give you suggestions, but I'm gonna leave it up to the audience today. <laughs> so I'll let you guys recommend. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad you're getting acquainted with St. Louis. More importantly, I'm glad that you guys are, in, uh, I'm glad you guys are happy here and enjoying the fact that you have decided to make St. Louis your home and yeah. taking advantage of all it has to offer. So, um, so that concludes the Bob Wall Show. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. If you like the episode, like, share, comment. It's appreciated. And give your restaurant recommendations in the comments section below for Steven. He needs some. So him and his wife need to have a drink and let the kids play somewhere. So, All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Goodbye for now. See you next week.